Leon Jones Jr. is running for Arkansas Attorney General under the Republican banner. He has served in post in both the Huckabee and Hutchinson administrations, most recently as the state's fair housing commissioner. Leon Jones and I caught up to talk about why he thinks he's the top choice for the state's top legal post. All right, you're running for attorney general. Tell everybody, the whole state, why you're the most qualified and the best candidate to be attorney general. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you again for having me on your show. Uh, I am the right choice right now. And as people have may have seen my video, I am a seventh generation Arkansan. I am a proven leader in the state. I've run two state agencies. I've worked for two Republican governors. I've done everything from regulatory policy advisor to run the Department of Labor, to run the Fair Housing Commission been able to create efficiencies and tax savings in those, in those positions that I've, that I've held. And I think that that's why I am the best choice right now to be the attorney general. All right, right now you've got one GOP challenger in Lieutenant Governor Tim Griffin, former U.S. attorney, former congressman, obviously currently Lieutenant Governor. Tell me why you think you've got a more compelling case than Tim Griffin to be attorney general. Good question. One, like I said before, I have run two state agencies. I've been able to uh, find efficiencies within those two state agencies, the Department of Labor and the Fair Housing Commission. When I got to the Department of Labor, we had about almost a $7 million budget. We were spending about 180 some odd thousand dollars a year on um, rent and different things associated with that. We were able to go in, cut that about $65,000 a year, put money into technology, help create those efficiencies when our um, inspectors were out in the field, they were able to do their work right there in the field versus having to come back to the office. So we've done that. We were able to close 220 cases at the Fair Housing Commission my first year. So putting the priorities first and making the things go better and easier for the state is why I'm the best choice. All right, I don't have to tell you this legislature has been in full swing for about 90 days. They're dealing with a litany of different controversial issues out there. As attorney general, you would be providing advice to them on uh, some of these issues. There's some uh, bills that are up there that actually speak specifically about the attorney general's role. But let's begin with a couple of the hot potato topics. Um, let's begin with this uh, transgender issue, restricting transgender uh, medical uh, procedures and treatment, is that something that you agree with? Well, as, the attorney, as a candidate for attorney general, I look at all of the legislation, of course, that is pending and that's come out there and I try to keep, a, keep abreast of what's going on. But also as a candidate, it's my position to understand what's happening. But when I become the attorney general, it's my position to defend any laws that are passed by the General Assembly. And so I don't I don't think I need to take a position on whether it's right or wrong, good or bad. I need to let the people of Arkansas know that when those laws are passed by the General Assembly, as the Attorney General, I'm going to defend those laws. All right. So basically, your philosophy is going to be whether or not personally you think some of them may be constitutional or unconstitutional. It's going to be your job as Attorney General to defend them no matter what. Exactly. You know, um, I think Representative Gazaway said it on your show the other day that the legislature has the uh, mandate to institute policy and the courts have the mandate to determine whether those policies are constitutional or not. The AG has the mandate to defend those laws. And so that's my position that we're going to defend those laws. If the courts determine that those laws are unconstitutional, we'll come back and we'll work with the General Assembly. We'll try to figure out what it is that their legislative intent is. Because again, I'm not a policymaker. I'm in the executive branch in order to defend what the legislature is doing. So I know uh, Leslie Rutledge has had a pretty activist agenda in terms of opposing some of the federal regulations, uh, particularly in the Obama administration. Certainly she's uh, starting to make a case here in the uh, Biden administration as well. Will you continue some of that um, activism that we see at that level, or is it going to be on a case by case basis? I, I kind of want to understand what your philosophy in including the state into some or injecting the state into some of these federal issues is going to be. Well, I, of course, I've thought about that as well, and I've definitely kept up with what General Rutledge has been doing. My position is that if it's something that directly affects Arkansans and Arkansas, then absolutely, as the Attorney General, we're going to go and we're going to defend that um, against it or for it. Either way, whether it's federal overreach or if there's something that's in from the federal position um, that Arkansas needs to be on the side of the federal government for, we will do that. But it has to affect um, Arkansans. And that's the priority for which I am running and the reason why I'm running. 
it has to affect Arkansans. 